Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. So what's your favorite dessert that starts with the letter P? Pecan pie? Peppermint patty? Pop-Tart? Well, we don't know which one Google will pick for its newest mobile operating system, codenamed Android P, but we do know some of the features you'll be able to look forward to once it hits the phone in your pocket, or the one you're looking to buy. Let's start with one of the things you're likely to notice as soon as you pick up your phone, notifications. Android Oreo introduced the ability to reply to a message directly from this notification instead of opening the app fully. But P will take this one step further, showing images in line. So if one of your friends is a narcissistic Instagrammer who keeps sending you photos of his or her dinner, you can now feign excitement more quickly than ever. And on the subject of images, you'll now, finally, also be able to draw and mark up your screenshots if you want to call someone's attention to a certain part of the screen cap. And you also get an option to take one just by holding down the power button if you don't like having to press down two buttons at once. And certain apps can take better advantage of newer phones that have a dual camera setup, enabling functionality like depth detection and more realistic AR experiences. The visual related changes don't stop there either. If you stumble upon text that's a little too small to read comfortably, there's now an iOS-like lens zoom feature. And there are a number of new system animations and visual accents, so you might notice a bit more color on items that could use it, like different sub-menus in the settings app, but also a bit less in others. Battery Saver, for example, still shows an icon letting you know it's on, but it no longer turns the top and the bottom of your screen that distracting shade of red. And Android P also features smarter adaptive brightness, now adjusting the backlight level based on typical usage patterns instead of relying solely on how dim your surroundings are. And speaking of battery saver, let's move on and talk a little bit more about what's under the hood. If you do like the power sipping mode, you can now configure it to kick in earlier if your phone's battery isn't the greatest. But you shouldn't be spending as much time waiting around for your battery draining tasks to complete anyway, since the usual tweaks to the runtime are present, with Google hoping for fastest ever load times with minimal memory usage. And while we're on the subject of making things quicker, let's talk about gestural navigation. Gone is the triangle, circle, square paradigm that Android users have gotten used to. Now, Android P has a single home button that you can tap, hold, or swipe to bring up your app drawer or recently used programs, similar to iOS, which Google is hoping will make it easier for users to bring up frequently used or currently running apps. And if you ever get curious just how long you use those apps for, Android P provides a breakdown of app usage and how many notifications each one sends you, allowing you to keep tabs on just how bad your addictions to Netflix and Snapchat really are. Now onto something a little more exciting, Android P's indoor positioning feature. This could come in handy the next time you're in a large indoor facility like a shopping mall or an airport. You see, the new Wi-Fi standard 802.11mc will be able to measure the trip time of your Wi-Fi signal to and from an access point, which lets it triangulate your position indoors. It does require hardware support, but with the right device, it could end up being a huge help if you really want a soft pretzel after a hard day of buying things you don't need. Like a phone with an iPhone-style notch at the top. Now that Android P supports what it calls display cutouts for devices that don't have perfectly rectangular screens, get ready to see a lot more phones trying to capitalize on this design fad. And finally, we'd be a bit remiss if we didn't talk about a rather important security tweak. Android P no longer allows apps to access your camera or microphone in the background. Now, although that's comforting news, it really makes me wonder what they may have been watching or listening to up until now. And it does nothing for the usual vast majority of Android users who will be left behind when Android P rolls out sometime later this year. Today's episode has been brought to you by iFixit. You know they really like to take stuff apart and teach people how to fix things. They're also leading the charge in the electronics repair tools industry with their iconic black and blue ProTech toolkit, and it's now only $59.95. It has a tool roll that makes it compact and easy to store. It has a 64-bit driver kit with a wide variety of plastic opening tools, spudgers, and picks to safely poke and pry with. You get a suction cup with a fancy new handle to remove display assemblies, iFix's own rubber handle Jimmy Pry tool, and a set of metal spudgers, ESC safe tweezers, and an ESC safety strap. All iFixit tools are backed by iFixit's lifetime warranty. You don't need to buy something to get iFixit's free repair resources either. You can check out 25,000 free repair guides over at iFixit.com. 
But if you do want to get your hands on some hardware, just visit ifixit.com slash techwiki to snag the fully loaded ProTech toolkit, now for only $59.95. Okay guys, thanks for watching TechWiki. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you didn't. Like if you think display notches are kind of dumb. Uh, leave a comment, let us know your ideas for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe.